In Matthew 13, verses 24 to 30, Jesus tells his disciples a parable. It's a parable about a farmer who plants good seed in a field, and his enemy comes and plants bad seed. And then when the crops start to come up, he and his servants look out and they see the truth. There is in that same field both good harvest and weeds. Have you ever wondered why is it that God lets his church be so overcome and so attacked in the world? That here in the world, there are people who don't like the church. There are people who don't like Christians. There are people who don't like you and me. It's terrible, right? And we start to think, why is it that people don't like us? It's because there's an enemy at work. This enemy, the devil himself, comes sowing deceit and distrust, dissolution and anger between people. We live in a world where, when we're honest with ourselves, people don't like the church. Jesus told us exactly how it was going to be. They won't like you because they didn't like me first. And so we trust and we believe in Jesus and we take him exactly at what he said was going to happen. And so we pray for his continual strength that he would come because this parable tells us something very, very important about our Savior, Jesus. It tells us that he will not come and destroy those who are enemies and opponents of his church in such a way that it could hurt his Christians. Jesus is merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, full of grace and truth for you and for me. And that's why he doesn't punish the wicked and the evildoer right now. He waits. And we think, for my benefit, for our benefit, wouldn't it be good if you came and destroyed the evildoers right here, right now? But Jesus waits, not wanting to hurt you, not wanting to harm your faith, not wanting to hurt his church. And out of the great love of your Lord Jesus, he keeps strengthening you, building you up that you bear a harvest. And he has a promise for you that you have an eternal place with him in the day of his return. He isn't going to be content to let you be taken away from him. Oh no, he has plans for you, good plans, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And in the meantime, he gives you patience, patience as you live in a world that doesn't always like him, that doesn't always like you. But that's okay, because your Lord will never leave you, and he will never, ever forsake you. Rejoice and be glad in that promise, now and forever. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.